Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. Firstly, before we get into the video, we have hit 100,000 subscribers. This is a huge milestone and I do want to thank each and every one of you. However, I also want to do something special for it and I'm leaning towards a big giveaway. I want to give away a lot of prizes rather than just one big one so there's more of a chance of you actually winning something. What the prizes are, I have a few ideas but why not leave a comment below and let me know the kind of stuff you want to see in this giveaway and I'll start prepping and release a video with all the details very very soon. But anyway, once again guys, thank you all so much and let's get back into the video. Today, reality TV is a big thing. You only have to switch on your TV to see a large amount of reality TV shows available for you to watch. With the stars of these shows making all their personal business public, it's only a matter of time until one of them slips up. So in this list, I'll be showing you 5 reality TV stars who've been to prison. Number 5. Amber Portwood Amber Portwood first came to the world's attention when she appeared on the MTV's hit show Teen Mum. Amber was a self-declared party girl and her struggles to parent her daughter Leah and maintain a good relationship with her partner Gary were heavily documented on the show. In December 2011, Amber was arrested for a Class D felony for possession of a controlled substance. At the time, she was already on probation due to a domestic violence incident. Due to the violation of her probation, Amber was held until January 2012 where she entered a guilty plea. She was issued with a five-year suspended sentence and released. However, she continued to violate her conditions of her probation and in June 2012 she started to serve her five-year sentence. In December 2013 it was revealed she was released from prison due to good behavior and is now off drugs and alcohol and working with her ex Gary to be a good mum to Leah. Number 4. Bobby Brown Although better known for his music and being the ex-husband of the late Whitney Houston, Bobby had his own reality TV show back in 2005 called Being Bobby Brown. Bobby is hardly a law-abiding citizen, having been arrested on multiple occasions in the past for stuff such as drink driving, possession of drugs and missing child support payments. His most recent run-in with the law was in 2013 when he was arrested for drink driving. He was jailed to do 55 days, of which he served a whole 9 hours. Number 3. Apollo Nida One of the more significant jail terms served on this list goes to Apollo Nida, the husband of the real wives of Atlanta star Phaedra Parks. Apollo is currently serving an 8 year sentence for cashing stolen checks and laundering over 2.3 million dollars. You would think that he had learned his lesson and kept his head down while in jail, but earlier this year he was caught with a cell phone that someone smuggled in for him and he was using it to call friends and family from his jail cell. Officials weren't too happy and moved him to a maximum security prison where he's expected to spend another one and a half years. Number 2. Paris Hilton Despite being a successful businesswoman and reality TV star, Paris has had numerous run-ins with the law. In 2010, she was escorted by police from a football match after being accused of smoking marijuana. Later that year, she was also arrested for cocaine possession. However, it was actually in 2007 where she spent a whole five days in jail for violating her probation. She was initially jailed for 45 days, but due to medical issues, she was allowed to serve the remaining 40 days at home whilst wearing a tag. Number 1. Janelle Evans And I'm rounding off this list with another teen mum. Although she hasn't spent a significant time in jail, with the amount of time she was arrested and released after posting bail, I felt she deserved a spot on this list. Starting late 2010, she was arrested for breaking and entering as well as a drugs charge and was placed on probation. From then on, it's been a constant process of being arrested, posting a bond, being released and then doing it all over again. She seems to have kept out of trouble since 2015, however, but earlier this year she was served papers for cyber stalking. Thank you for watching, do make sure to check out my latest video with urban explorer Yusuf Ahmadi. This time we go into another haunted forest and capture some really strange activity, such as a potential shallow grave, weird lights within the forest and a no caller ID phone call in a no signal area where a strange voice tries talking to us. All this really freaked us out and I personally can't explain it. All links will be in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.